This week I worked up until 10 minutes on the bike. Uh, this week my goal is to work up to 20 minutes if possible. So it is now Monday morning. I apologize, I don't have my gimbal. I left it downstairs in my workspace, but that's okay. I'm currently icing my knee. Just, it doesn't hurt really, but just to take a break for a second, ice it a bit before I head back downstairs. So I'm not gonna vlog too much today, at least that's the plan, because I kinda like to save that mostly for Tuesdays, to be honest, if I can. I'm trying to find a more comfortable way to hold this. Just because Tuesday is my filming day, so like, if I can not film too much on the other days, that would be really helpful. But obviously with vlogging, especially my progress and stuff with my knee, I kind of have to do it pretty much every day. But anyway, I don't want to vlog too much today, most likely at least at the moment. My hair is a mess and my something is in my eyeball. Anyway, I just wanted to go over really quickly, kind of knee update real quick. Um, a little bit about the weekend and walking, how much walking I did yesterday, which I'm really proud of, kind of how I'm feeling and that kind of thing. So yesterday I ended up being outside of the house for a good portion of the day. I would say it was kind of late morning to middle of the afternoon. And I got in over 5,000 steps yesterday, which is by far the most that I've gotten since surgery. Yeah, and it felt good for the most part. I would say until the end, I was feeling it and I needed a break. That was not obviously 5,000 steps straight <laughs> um, because that's too much. Um, but in total, it was that much, which doesn't sound like a lot, I know, but it is a lot from where I was at and am at. So that was just exciting. That's not my goal yet uh, to reach that amount because that's too much right now to hit consistently. But it, like I said, it was feeling fine. We kind of went shopping for a little bit. We is me and my husband or like walking around and that was actually pretty good for the most part. And I felt like my gait was normal-ish, almost normal, not quite like I can tell, but I feel like I'm actually getting to the point where other people can't tell anymore which is kind of insane and I'm really excited about that because I was even looking at my knee before leaving yesterday and I was like my knee looks almost normal like I can tell because I'm looking at it really closely that it's not extending all the way but other people probably can't tell or at least most of them can't so that was kind of fun but yeah it was starting to hurt there by the end when we were going back I was like I need a break we need to go sit down and eat because I just need to sit down so yeah the endurance is not quite there yet but that's not really my top goal anyways and like I said that's not my goal to get to 5,000 steps a day yet but that was just kind of cool that I was able to do that and last night my knee didn't hurt and this morning my knee didn't hurt so that is always a plus yeah that's a very very good thing so that was yesterday moving on to like goals about this week and kind of the plan um I would just like to basically try to do a little bit better than I did last week um, last week was not bad. It was a little bit disappointing because just because I didn't reach all the goals that I was hoping I could. But looking back, I realized I probably just put too much pressure on myself and tried to do too much all at once. And my goal is now to do what I can when I can as often as I can. Um, I hope that makes sense. But basically, I'm just working on consistency instead of like feeling really good one day and just feel like oh, I can keep going and keep doing this stuff and then having to take a break for the next day or two days afterwards just because my knee is in pain. Like, I don't want to do that. So it, it will be much more beneficial for myself, my health, my knee, if I just do what I can, when I can, as often as I can and leave it at that. So my plan for the whole week, though, is to try to be in as much of a normal routine as possible. So for me, that means working downstairs and that means going to the gym. Last week, I worked downstairs. Oh, I didn't actually work Friday. So I didn't work downstairs Friday because I had off because I needed to go to the doctor. And I also had to work Thursday upstairs because my knee was just killing me. 
So I worked three days downstairs. So my goal this week is to try to work downstairs every day this week. I am working five days this week. So we'll see how that goes. But as long as my knee feels fine and going downstairs feels fine, I can do that. And then I would ideally like to go to the gym four to five days. Last week I got in three days and that's okay, but I would really like to get back to my normal routine of going five days if possible. So this week, if it only can be four days, it's understandable, but hopefully I'm aiming for five. I still kind of need to figure out what I'm doing this week as far as cardio. Um, I have some like basic goals down, but I didn't actually put it in my schedule yet. So I'm, I'm going to do that when I go back downstairs, actually. I'm trying to think if there's any other updates. Not really. Uh, I'm feeling quite tired today. Not going to lie, but it's fine. I always feel tired, I guess. But I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I think that's it for today. <music> so it's gonna feel really nice and I'm just gonna kind of relax a bit. Didn't get as much cleaning and stuff done as I wanted to, but other than that, I've been quite productive. My workout was pretty good as well. Today, I will talk more in a sec. Okay, so I did not bring out my tripod, so sorry about that, but I am obviously in the pool now. But I was just going to quickly say something about my workout because I didn't get to say anything. Also, I got a new bathing suit, so that's exciting and fun. It's been a very long time. Um, that's besides the point. So I, um, my workout today was quite good. I feel like it was pretty good. Uh, trying to think what to say about it. So I actually warmed up with five minutes on the elliptical today, which is good. I had to go really slow, um, for sure. So it was, it felt okay. Didn't feel amazing, but I just took it nice and slow. Got to five minutes, and then that was it. And that was my warm up for the day. And I finished my workout off, my workout off with um, 12 minutes on the bike today, which is the most that I've done. So last week I worked up until 10 minutes on the bike. Uh, this week my goal is to work up to 20 minutes if possible, like 15 to 20. Obviously I wanna go 20 if I can. <laughs> so yeah, did 12 today, felt pretty good. I had to remind myself to not go too overboard because I wanted to like keep my heart rate up more and I wanted to like you know go faster and stuff like that which those things go together but then I had to like back it off and remind myself to not do that so yeah I didn't go crazy fast so I kind of just reminded myself like just trying to hit 12 minutes and don't try to do anything too crazy so that was kind of my workout I didn't really do that much leg stuff in there besides leg press but I'm just doing one set right now because that's all she wants me to do uh, so I'm not pushing it at all, but I'm going to enjoy the pool and just kind of chill, listen to some music, and just have a nice relaxing time, kind of like ending my day, my work day. Anyway, this is kind of like my, my day and ending of my day, I guess. I kind of said that like three times, so anyway, bye. It is Tuesday, March 29th, and I just finished work, so came up here. <sighs> I'm feeling so tired today. I don't know what it is. Like yesterday, I felt super tired. Today, I'm also feeling quite tired. I think a lot of it has to do with my job and how it's been really busy lately. I don't know why, but literally every single spot has been taken. Like last week it started, maybe even the week before, but not quite because I was like just getting into working again, I think. I don't know. I don't know. That's been longer than that. It's been more than three weeks that I've been back to work since my surgery. But anyway, 
um, I don't know. I just find that very exhausting and that I have zero time in the morning to do some things that I need to do for myself. And that's just the way life is right now, which is kind of frustrating, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm also just like, it's almost break, but it's not quite yet. So that's also a really hard spot to be in as well. But anyway, it is what it is. I just have to keep pushing through and doing what I can, even though I don't love what I feel like I'm able to do right now. So also the freaking vending machine downstairs wasn't working. They like changed stuff up and now it's broken, which is awesome because I don't have any milk left. And this morning I wanted to grab milk for my coffee. I couldn't, so I just had to drink the coffee, which is fine. I just prefer to have milk in it. It makes it last longer. And I also kind of like the taste better with some milk in it as well. What else? And also I would kind of like to eat some cereal before I go work out because then I have something in my stomach to keep me, hold me over and stuff. But I can't do that because the machine is broken because they messed it up somehow. Awesome. Technically I could, I guess, walk to the other one, but there's no guarantee that there's gonna be milk in there. There's probably not since there's milk in this one. And I'm definitely not walking all, all the way out to the front for milk, that's not happening right now. So anyway, I need to go to the gym before too long, it's 11.35. Lately I've just been kind of like chilling for about half an hour ish so i'm gonna throw on some youtube videos i think and just relax for a little bit allow myself this time even though i'm kind of hungry so i kind of want to like go to the gym get it over with and come back and eat but i'll have to see how that works i just wish i had milk i might have to explore and get some milk later but i don't know yet today's just really tired i just wanted to check in i wasn't planning on doing this but i just wanted to check in because i was planning on filming my workout today um because today is a film day technically and I haven't been filming my actual workouts. I started filming my warm up yesterday, uh, which is great. And at some point I really would like to film my actual workouts that I've been doing, but that's just not gonna happen today, I don't think. I probably will throw this in my bag just in case I suddenly feel like it, but I realized that on days like today when I'm feeling tired, if I try to force myself to film, I'm less likely to actually get to the gym because I just feel like it's too much. It's too much work. I have to do like extra stuff and I can't focus on myself during that time as much as I would have liked. So yeah, I think it's way more important that I actually get to the gym, do the thing that's really good for me instead of trying to force filming it when I'm not feeling it. So again, if I feel like filming anything, I will, but more than likely it's not gonna happen. Feeling like today is just gonna be another unproductive day, which is not great. Actually, yesterday was not an unproduct unproductive day. I just didn't get as much done as I wanted to. A lot of that has to do with my knee, honestly, but I did get in way more steps. I got in, um, I don't know why I'm looking at my watch. This was yesterday. I need to look at my app on my phone for this, but I got in over 4,000 steps while I was here at home, which is crazy. And that's not doing anything extra besides cleaning and going down to go to the pool. So now I know that it's possible to get at least that much on my cleaning days slash when I go to the pool and like both of those together. So all of this like data is really nice to keep track of and to realize so that I know as I start progressing, like how many steps a day that I want to get to, I know what I need to do basically to make that happen. So yesterday was actually not very unproductive. It was quite productive. I did do quite a bit of cleaning, some stuff that I've been avoiding and not doing for a while. Yeah, I just have this like list that I still need to get to and it just is what it is so again i'm feeling tired today maybe today is a day where i go get some coffee from the machine because that sounds kind of nice but i'm gonna force myself to go down to the gym get started we'll see how i feel but i actually have not done this workout yet because last week i had to skip tuesday because i worked out really hard on monday and tuesday my leg was hurting um same thing for thursday because i worked out on wednesday I had to take a break thursday so I'm gonna try my best to do a little bit better this week. Yeah, I'm hungry though. This is not a good situation. I don't like going to the gym hungry because then I just like feel like I'm trying to rush through everything and my mind is not fully focused on what I'm doing. So I'm not getting that much out of it, but there's not really much I can do about it at the moment. So that's awesome. Anyway, I'm going to allow myself to just chill for a little bit, not think about work or doing too much just because I feel like I really need that before I head off to the gym in about 20 minutes. Okay, so I just finished my workout.
out. I am waiting for a drink that I'm getting today. We have a free code, so it is free, which is nice. But uh, today is just one of those days where I just really feel like I need a pick-me-up. So I now reserve this coffee for those kind of days. So, um, yeah, I'm just waiting for the coffee, and then I'm going to head upstairs. I'm kind of now seeing it's sweaty and it's hot. But um, I'm going to go upstairs and see where the rest of the day takes me. I'm not really sure yet because, yeah, I'm still now. I don't know what I'm doing. I probably won't do that much, and I'll probably just allow myself to have an unproductive day. But yeah, we'll see what I can get done today. So, the workout was okay today. Not great. Like, I didn't walk in with any energy, so I'm just proud that I did it and I got it done. I did all of it except for a couple ab exercises. So, not bad, all things considering. Oh, except I didn't do cardio at the end either. I'm sorry. So I didn't do cardio at the end, so no bike, or I didn't do elliptical today either. I actually walked as my warm-up today, really slow, really low incline, and just focused as much as I could on a normal gait. I actually went okay. Not the best, but decent. So I got my coffee now, so I am going to go ahead and go upstairs and take a break and get out of this mask because it's fucking hot. <laughs> All right, obviously back upstairs now. I just wanted to say again, I guess, that I did it. Dirty socks. I know I talked downstairs, but I did it and I was proud of myself. Some days you just gotta take the win. And last week I worked hard on Monday and could not work out at all on Tuesday because I was in so much pain. So I gotta remember that in my journey right now, not looking outside of myself, not thinking about how life used to be or um, how I want life to be in the future, none of that, like where I'm at right now, I am still making progress and I am still doing things, hopefully, <laughs> this week that I was not able to do last week. And that is my goal and just to be as consistent as possible without, you know, going overboard or hurting myself or doing so much so that the next day I can barely walk and can't do anything and it really hurts. So I showed you, I haven't tried it yet, it's kind of hot. Um, I don't know why I like to get, I think the hot coffee tastes better than the cold, so I usually get hot, even though it's freaking hot outside, so I'm like, turning on the AC to <laughs> get cold, or colder. But yeah, I also wanted to say lately, as in the past, I don't know, couple weeks, I have really been watching my YouTube playlists that I have on my channel, not, they're not my videos, they are other people's videos, um, to help me improve in volleyball. Um, this has a lot of different stuff. It can be workouts, it can be skill-based, it can be just Q&A with people that are, that know a lot more than I do. And I've, I don't know why I've been so into that lately for a long time. I literally wasn't into it at all. So I just kind of like never watched those videos. I would save them, but I didn't really watch them. But lately I've really been into those kinds of things. Um, maybe because my mental health is good again and the drive for like, doing things that I love to do and feel strong and powerful again or empowered or whatever is coming back like that's great like obviously I can't do any of these movements yet but it's always a good thing to get prepared and I honestly even or maybe especially for the skill based ones obviously I'm not playing volleyball yet but I feel like this is almost like a visualization type of thing and trying to Im improve my mindset first of all and then also just think through the game and think through the skills and uh, learn different drills and stuff like that for myself or maybe for future people you never know like clients or teams or whatever but yeah i don't know i've just been really into that lately so probably gonna watch some of those videos right now um i kind of like go in waves where i'm like super focused on this like one type of YouTube video and then I like move on and I'm like not into that at all. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to watch some YouTube and enjoy my coffee and hopefully that brings some life back into me. <laughs>